Now openings in the cylindrical and conical shell. Whenever we are saying the openings, so properly are there any limitations? So let's say my diameter is thousand mm. So what size of opening I can have? Can I have a thousand mm to thousand mm opening? So what are the guidelines? So properly reinforced openings have no limits. Only following design procedures to be followed. So they have given some design guidelines. Those needs to be followed. Otherwise, the code has not put in any limit on the any the size of the opening. So why so? We, let's see one by one. Large opening criteria. So the code has divided the nozzles in two categories. One is the normal opening. Another is a large opening. So if it is a large opening, then there are special requirements of 1-7 mandatory appendix 7. Sub clause seven mandatory appendix one. Sub clause seven clauses will also need to be satisfied in addition to UG thirty seven. So if the nozzle, let's uh, uh, first we have to decide that whether that nozzle is a large opening or that opening is a large opening or a normal opening. So let's say large opening criteria. What that criteria is given in the code for the cylinders and cones. This criteria is only given for the cylinders and conical shape for the cylinders or the cones. If the ID of that cylinder or the cone is less than 1500, that is less than 60 inches. For that, what is the criteria of large opening? So the large nozzle opening criteria is equal to. It is minimum of half the ID or 510 mm, whichever is minimum. What is that criteria for large opening? It has to be half the diameter. It has to be less than half the di uh, more than half the diameter or 510. So we'll take one example from that. You'll better understand. So large opening criteria is for 1500 mm below size of the shell ID is minimum of half the ID or 510 mm, whichever is minimum. If your vessel ID or the shell ID or cone ID is more than 1500, in that case, what is that criteria? Large opening criteria is equal to minimum of one third of the ID or 1020 mm. 1020 is double of that 510. So let's say one third of diameter or 1020 mm, whichever is minimum. If your nozzle size exceed this, then it will fall under large opening. If it is below this, then it will be a normal opening. So, what is the difference between normal and large opening? If it falls under large opening, we also need to satisfy the additional requirements of 1-7. If it is a normal opening, we just have to satisfy the requirement of UG 37. So, openings below the large opening criteria needs to satisfy the requirements or the rules of UG 36 through UG 40. So UG 36 to 43, uh, they have given the rules what we need to follow. And if it is a large opening, in addition to this UG 36 to UG 43, we also need to satisfy additional requirement of 1-7. 1-7 is a separate mandatory appendix clause or the procedure has been mentioned only for the large opening. So does every large opening um, uh, will satisfy all the requirements of 1-7? No. When we are going to see reinforcement in detail, then we are going to also see the mandatory appendix 1-7. So we have understood large opening. So let's have some examples so that we will have the better feeling of. It. So let's say example one. Let's say this is our cylinder. This is the opening what we are discussing. Let's say the ID is 1000 mm of that vessel, and the ID of the nozzle. Or that opening that is going to meet in that vessel will be 600 mm. So the ID of the vessel is 1000, and ID of the nozzle is 600. So whether this 600 mm nozzle on 1000 mm ID is a large opening or it's a normal opening. Let's have the check done. So uh, here first, whether this cylinder is having the diameter less than 1500 or more than 1500, accordingly the criteria will change. 1000 mm is less than 1500. So less than 1500. What is the large opening criteria for the cylinders or the conical shapes having the inside diameter less than 16 inches, which is 1500 mm? Our requirement is large opening criteria is minimum of half the diameter or 510 mm. So let's put the values. Our diameter is 1000. Half the diameter or 510. Half the 1000 is 500. So minimum of 500 and 510. So our value is coming as 500. If the nozzle size is more than 500, then it will be under large opening. If it is less than 500, then it will fall under normal opening criteria. Let's check. Actual nozzle ID is how much? 600. Remember, if there is any corrosion allowance, then we have to consider corroded opening here. So if it is a 2 mm corrosion allowance, it becomes 604. Since we haven't considered any corrosion allowance, so it is nothing but the ID of your nozzle. So ID of your nozzle 600. 
is more than the 500 which is nothing but half the diameter or 510 whichever is small so we can say this criteria is getting satisfied of becoming large opening so this opening we can call it as large opening and we have to satisfy supplementary requirement of 1-7 in addition to the basic requirement of UG 36 to UG 43. Let's have one more example. Let's say again the diameter of ours is 1000 mm. Now this is a to this is not a 600 mm nozzle. It is standard nozzle DN 250 schedule 80. Again let's compare. ID is less than 1500. So for the cylinders and cones having the diameter less than 1500, large nozzle opening criteria is minimum of half the diameter 510, which are very small. So it again comes the same value 500 mm. Now let's see what is the actual thickness of the nozzle. DN 250 schedule 80. How to calculate the ID? OD minus 2 times nominal thickness. Nominal thickness for the pipe of DN 250 is 15.09. So 273 minus 2 into 15.09 it's coming to be 242.82 so 242 is less than 500 so it's a normal opening it's not a large opening so hence it is not a large opening and supplementary requirements of 1-7 are not applied only ug 37 needs to be satisfied for reinforcement requirement so this is very simplest way by which we can understand the large opening if the diameter would have been more than 1000 uh, 1500 mm then this criteria would have changed to one third of the diameter or 1020 mm whichever is smaller and accordingly we will compare the nozzle opening we are not uh, considering here the nozzle od please do remember here we are uh, considering the nozzle opening that is the whole what is going to get created in that vessel let's have the example of conical shape Whenever we will be having one conical shape, then what diameter we should consider? That is a very, very important and code has given guidelines to that. Let's say our diameter is how much? 3000 mm. Diameter is how much? 3000. But we are having the nozzle over here and the nozzle having the size of DN 250 schedule 80. Now the diameter 3000 we don't have to consider in that criteria calculation. The diameter where we are having the nozzle, there we have to draw a center line and the diameter at that position we have to consider. So here the diameter is not 3000, here the diameter is 1000 and this 1000 we have to use in the identification calculation. So we don't have to take 3000, please do remember in case of conical shape, wherever the nozzle opening is there, at that center, whatever diameter is there for that cone, that diameter we have to consider. So now the 1000 mm is less than 1500 otherwise the criteria would have been different for 3000. It would have been more than 1500. So now 1000 mm is less than 1500. The criteria remains the same 1000 by 2 or 510 it becomes 500 mm and our nozzle is 250 nb which is less than that. So we can say it is not a large opening. So please do remember we have to consider the diameter where the nozzle is uh, going to uh, do the opening. So here we are going to do opening the center of which we have to identify and from there we have to draw a center line and wherever it can cut to the cone that diameter we are referring here as the ID of your cone. So I hope you have understood the large opening criteria.